today I'm going to show you how to connect the GoGo board to Scratch. Now, a lot of you might not know that Scratch actually can communicate with the GoGo board. It's kind of a hidden feature, and I'm going to show you how we're going to uh, do that. So, in Scratch, you have to click on the sensing category here, right? Sensing the blue category, and there will be one block here that says sensor value. So you left click on that block and then select the option show scratch board watcher. And once you click on it, you will notice on the output screen that a box appears there. Now this is the box where you will see sensor values. The trick here to enable the communication with the GoGo -Go board is to hold the shift key and right click. There will be a menu that comes up and has an option saying use GoGo -Go board. So you click on Use GoGo Board, and now it's ready to communicate. So next, you would uh, right-click on this area. You don't have to hold Shift anymore, and then select um, Serial and USB Port. And this, you will have to pick which serial port you're using. And uh, on, on this computer, it's COM7. It might be different on your computer. All right, once I connect to COM7, you will see that all the sensor values uh, appear on the uh, box here. I have a light sensor connected to sensor 2, which conveniently is the light uh, sensor on the scratch board here. And I also have a switch connected to sensor port 5 on the GoGo -Go board, which happens to be uh, sensor A, um, resistance A. That's how it's called on the scratch board. So for the resistance A, when I press the button, you will see that the value becomes zero. And when I release it, it goes back to about 100. Same with the light sensor. Right now it's uncovered, so the value is between 10 and 20. When I cover it, you will see that the value is now 95 or 96. I let go, then it goes back to 20. I cover it, it goes back up to almost 100. So. That's all you need to uh, start using the GoGo -Go board with Scratch. And you can write simple programs like what I have here. It tests for the uh, resistance A value. Whenever it is less than 10, it moves the uh, cat on the screen uh, slightly. So let's give that a try. I'm going to activate the program. And then when I press the button, you will see that the cat moves. So I press, I let go, it stops. So I press and it goes, stop. And I let go and it stops. So, as simple as that. Thank you.